Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' solar systems and this is the start of a new era of checking out your guys' solar systems as well as we have now moved into a new set of rules and regulations for people uploading their systems so we have like a, an object limit they have to be customized descriptions all things like that instead of just plain objects that are just copy pasted and are quite boring to check out so Going forwards with this series, we should have some pretty cool stuff to see. So without further ado, let's get straight into this. So the first system of this new generation of systems is from the user Nico BRF in Discord. So a massive thank you to them for sending this system in. And I was about to install it, but I notice it's on the front page here. So without further ado, let's see what this is all about. This should be quite interesting. So the picture says as well, I'm just on the workshop here, it says it's the one and only true black hole system in Universe Sandbox. So we will see that. Right, what have we got? So there it is. The monster itself. Oh yeah. Oh, that's looking pretty badass. Yes, look at that. Oh yeah. Okay, cool. So, the gargantuous black hole system. So, Nova Arakalis. So where are we? So that is the star, I'm guessing. There it is. Okay, so... Oh, yeah. The star is a bright white, bluish, burning sphere of energy. It orbits once or one of the most unnerving and mysterious forces of the universe, a black hole. It is less affected by the black hole's gravity. Okay, so first up we have got planet Horios. Oh, yeah, that's looking pretty beaten up. Okay, so Horios is the first planet of the Nova Arcaris. Oh, it has been tidally locked to its parent. One side of it melts into outer space while the other stays as cooled as the universal temperature okay cool cool next up we got dusk well, we've got dusk and dusk that's pretty weird how they're looking at each other like that that's pretty cool there are twin planets originated from one bigger body that was ripped apart by an explosion caused by a collapse of a star and now they dance around each other both heating both of their faces so we've got some tardy locking action going on here pretty wild stuff okay let's get a view from the surface here and have a look Ooh. oh yeah that's looking pretty wild let's go a little closer let's go here looking up and you see that hoo, hoo, hoo. okay alrighty that's a pretty cool concept I've never seen anyone do anything like that before that's quite cool uh, next up we've got tilt this almost 90 degree angle planet has one of the strangest orbits in the entire system. Its atmosphere is mostly composed of chlorine and sulfur gases. It has a thin ring. Between them lies a very large moon. That is a bizarre looking design as well. I really like that. I really, really like that actually. And I like the moon as well in between the rings. That's pretty cool. Kind of like holds the rings together maybe. So let's check its orbit out as well. We'll see. Uh, yeah, pretty, uh, pretty crazy. Okay. Oval shaped, slightly tilted. Okay. Next up we've got Windshed. Oh, yeah, and also the moon. The only moon it doesn't have enough energy to hold all the material, making its surface, causing it to break material from into the orbit. Okay, forming the rings. Okay, next up we've got Windshed. Uh, all right. This planet, once habitable, but due to extreme radiation impacts, their climate was entirely changed to a hostile environment where winds can reach incredible speed, sufficient to take entire buildings down. It also has insane temperatures due to the greenhouse effect. It takes a single moon that affects a windshed's gravity. So that's it there. That's very close as well, actually, that moon. Okay, so that's both of those guys. Next up, we have got this one here. Grande O. The last planet orbiting Nova Arcus. This is the biggest and most massive planet of the entire system, and still it remains rocky, being a super Earth. Its gravity is very strong and causes the planet to have mostly a flat surface. The planet gravity also makes it possess lots of moons. Okay, looking good. Oh, wow, we. So the moon here, Smolly Ol, the first moon of Grand Ol. This moon has been shed to uh, minor parts due to gravitational forces caused by its parent. The surface is erupting as it reaches orbit, it forming a thin but visible ring around the planet. Next up, we've got this one. So, the second moon of Grande Ole. This moon is habitable and has purple vegetation. Also, have an intelligent life within it that has already reached outer space. Their creatures called Emperors um, are most uh, pacific and search for diplomatic actions. Or pacific, sorry. Um, actions with their neighbours 
Um, the current civilization is at war with another one from a moon. Okay, next up we've got copper over here. So where are we? So the third moon of Glandale. This moon is mostly made of copper. The material has become green, so it's been oxidized. Um, even not having an oxidized atmosphere, it actually doesn't have an atmosphere. This implies that the moon could have had an atmosphere of oxygen in the past. Interesting. Okay. Next up, we've got Expilium. The fourth moon and the second moon to be considered habitable. Um, it has an exclusive material called Expelium concentrated in the oceans and land. It doesn't absorb heat very well, cooling the moon. The moon is mostly composed of ammonia, having intelligent creatures called Expers to road among the lands. They are also intelligent enough to reach outer space. They are very more aggressive and do not search the diplomatic ways with their neighbours' emperors. The material Expelium is also very combustive and has an insane destructive potential. Next up we've got Balaja. The fifth moon of Grandiol. This moon is very sandy and its entire biome is a huge desert. Having hot days and cold nights, it's also extremely massive, being even more heavy than Earth. Okay, pretty cool. Then we've got Horto over here. The sixth and last moon of Grandiol. It's the coldest body in the entire system caused by extremely dense and not uh, heatable atmosphere presence on the surface. It almost has the same properties as Titan but doesn't possess any oceans of any kind. Okay, so we're taking a jump now, moving to interstellar space. So, big jump. So, what's that? Next up, we've got Sumos. Sunos over here. So, another star. Okay. Middle aged star that has almost the same properties as the sun. By being too close to a black hole, it doesn't have as many planets as it could, as the gravitational forces cause it to not be strong enough to hold the planets. So, the first planet here, Sagittaria. The first part. Oh, wow. Ooh, I do like that. That looks pretty awesome. That's a very cool looking surface. Cool. So, the first planet is Sunos. It is the biggest and most massive planet of the entire system. It does not have a solid surface due to a recent collision. Its surface has been sprung into burning lava as it cools to form coherent continents. That's cool. I really do like the way that looks. Next up, we've got the art. Red ring around it. And then normally, and only a normally orbiting Suno has been a direct directive of the draw. Something a nerve in lies beneath the dark clouds that hides it. The rings around it are made by an unknown composition. Interesting. Okay, underneath. It's very, very dark, mysterious, nothing to see. Okay, interesting. Right, so next up we got a Barry Center. So that must be here. Barry Planet. Or Barry Planet, sorry. Being habitable, some creatures roam across the surface. However, as time passes, an evolutionary failure has caused their brain to degenerate, causing them to lose and misunderstand their own creations. This is leading them to their extinction. There's only one moon called Julio. Quite a nice looking world as well. It says Julio. The Stets moon causes its parents to form a Barry Centre with it. Um, it has this name because the natives named it in the name of something they forgot. Uh, in an even distant but yet close star system lies a brown dwarf orbiting close to a black hole, so close it can now be clearly seen. Thrill. It is a brown dwarf being most effective star by the black hole. It has a single planet and a piece of rock orbiting it. So that's the next one out. So taking a big jump actually, so over here. Alright, cool, cool. He's actually using a star to represent the brown dwarf as well. Okay, so the zone on that would be... Very, very dim. Okay. So next up we got her chark. The only planet of Thrill, being too close to a star, made its surface to be tidally locked. The tidally locked part has a deep crater making it look like an eye, um, eternally staring at its parent. Ah, yes. Okay. It also has traces of frozen water in the crater. So next up we got Traveller. So this is a random piece of debris. Okay, there it is. Uh, some question how it's even orbiting the brand off at this point. Its orbit is unusual. It's practically impossible that the black hole hasn't captured it yet. Here it is. Now the force that reckons above all. The mystery of the place that not even light can escape. Garga Garagantarus. Okay, so this, the black hole itself. It's got its own little system of stuff around it as well. Okay, oh, that looks pretty wild. 
It's a nasty looking object, isn't it? I mean, it does look very, very cool. I reckon if we press play, bad things happen, but we may have to try that. So the first of planets here, so... Ooh. A bit close to that ring of doom as well. Oh, they're just ring particles, actually. Okay, that's pretty cool. Alright, so over here. That's looking pretty scorched. Okay, so... The first planet orbs in Gargatris. By it being so close to the black hole, the excreation disk, the planet's surface is getting ripped apart, but at the same time being held together by its gravity. Its surface has flowing lava that forms scratches along it. Time goes very different near this planet. It orbs its planet in only three hours. That's pretty... Not where you want to visit. Next up, we got this one. Oh, that's looking pretty beaten up. This Earth-sized planet has very, very powerful explosions deep below in its surface, causing the upper crust to explode, creating huge craters and lava flows visible from outer space. The black holes could have been causing this deep explosion, but it's not confirmed. The explosions caused carbon monoxide to be thrown into the atmosphere. Uh, cool. Next up, we've got Remain. Remain. This superfluid is entirely covered by shallow water at some spots and has deep oceans in others. The gravitational forces of parent cause immersed waves um, form such waves. Oh, hang on, says. Gravitational forces of its parent cause immersive waves the form the, the form such waves um, can travel down the entire planet before they settle down. The atmosphere is very proper for life, but the presentation from disasters has not yet life to develop. It is a great view of the black hole. Okay, let's have a look. Let's land on this little island, or little cloud here, I guess. Let's have a look around. Black hole, oh my god. That's pretty, uh, pretty deadly looking, oh my gosh. So, looking back at the black hole, yeah, that's not very nice to look at. Oh. That's a nasty, nasty object. It does look awesome, though. Um, then we've got Devoid over here. The fourth and last planet of the black hole. Probably the best alternative for life to develop. It has the perfect atmosphere for humans to habitate and is not affected by gravity as other planets are by their planet. I think it's by their star. It also has a static view of the black hole as it orbits in just two days. The setting of the craters remembers a screaming face. So there it is there. It's a good view, actually. Yeah, let's have a look. Look around. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's turn that all off. So there you go. And that does it for the description. So that is that system complete. And that, what a system. I mean, that black hole, man, that is something else. But what happens if you press play? So it all, it all works. Okay, that's cool. So it actually does run. So that's a ring. He's added proper rings around it and everything. Yeah, that's proper cool. That's how you do a black hole. I do like that. And it it works. It has the disc and everything. Because normally the black holes are all just... They're like non-active black holes. But this one's more like an active black hole. Oh, that's seriously cool, that is. I do like that. Yeah. That's awesome. But let's just have a look underneath all of that black hole. Take all the material away. And that's what's actually in the middle. So it's actually a star in the middle with a massive disc around it giving it that effect that's really well made i really like that that's really really cool and it's on the top charts i mean it must be pretty cool he's, i mean he's got a cool picture and everything for it so now he means business so yeah very very cool there see that was from nico brf so i really really hope you've enjoyed the system and yeah let me know your, your thoughts and opinions down below really really well made really like that awesome stuff indeed i don't know if it's letting us open it now but yeah nonetheless again a massive thank you to him for sending this in and yeah if you guys enjoyed it, press that like button as well. Let's see if we can go for 100 likes for the super cool black hole. So if you haven't already, make sure to push that like button and help us on that goal to 100 as well. And also subscribe if you haven't already as well. And yeah, help us on the journey to the big 40,000, I guess now. I mean, we've passed the 30k again. There will be specials for that coming out in the near future. I just need to get a weekend where I've got a lot of time to do it because I've got quite a busy schedule coming up. So, but yeah, stay tuned. There definitely will be some 30k celebrations coming up. Anyways, guys, with that all said and done, oh, I'm lagging like crazy now. I got too close to it. But yeah, that all said and done. Make sure you all stay safe out there. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.